right here. There we go. Here it is. Dungeons and Dragons Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. You've never reloaded a game more than this. More than oh, you've never reloaded a game more than this one on normal mode. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be running through the tutorial just because, like I say, I I haven't actually played this. Um, I played Dungeons and Dragons, just not this version of Dungeons and Dragons. So we're just gonna create. Wait, let's. Uh, so you're saying that character files, these imported characters, this is what it's all about. Hey, look, that almost is fate. That's very, very close to Faye's name. Is it even an anagram? I don't know. Let's let's do this one anyway. So if these are imported characters, does that mean that we can? Oh no, we can't. We can't see what skills they have. Import characters is meant by high-level imports. I see. I see. I see. All right, fair enough. Fair play. Well, we'll play this anyway. Appearance. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Your life shall be mine. Yes, it will. Fanny Reese. Good old Fanny. Create a party. Oh, wait. Are we, we going to have to create an entire party, or can we just play the... The tutorial with one. So this is it. This is our difficulty setting. Story mode, the party gains all the benefits of easy difficulty and they cannot die in combat, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> Tinkerbell, thank you very much for the 10 bits, you beauty. Uh, then we have easy. The party gains a six plus bonus to luck. Enemies have their damage reduced by 50%. Party members cannot permanently die. Hit point rolls are maximized. And spells can be copied into spell books without failure. Normal enemies deal 25% less damage. Party members cannot permanently die. Hit points roll. Hit point rolls are maximized, and spells can be copied into spell books without failure. Core rules: the setting is aimed at veteran players who are well versed in D&D mechanics. Uh, enemies get deal full damage. Party members cannot permanently die, and spells aren't guaranteed to be copied into spell books. Hard. Enemies inflict 50% more damage. Insane. Enemies inflict 100% more damage. And what we'll be playing on, Legacy of Baal. Enemies have all the benefits of insane difficulty, otherwise known as double damage. Um, as well as significantly more hit points. Improved Thacko. Not entirely sure what that is. Better saving throws and more attacks per round. Warning, Legacy of Baal can only be selected at the start of the game and once selected cannot be changed. <laughs> Looking forward to our first chunked hero. Venture forth. Greetings to you. And welcome to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Thank you. Belt, I understand that you are eager to get started. A woman of your profession would not be comfortable cooped up in a castle such as this. But before you leave, it is my duty to make sure you are prepared for what awaits you in the world of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition uses second edition AD&D rules. This might seem overwhelming at first, but I will familiarize you with the basic rules and interface of the game. Kaido, you have come at the best time, my man. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are just learning that, uh, apparently, Baldur's Gate uses second edition rules. I have never played second edition. Ever. What's this button? Oh, it's the rest of the, the chat. Nice. We'll begin with the pause feature. Pausing a game at any time with a space bar or by left clicking on the clop. Clop. Clop clock in the lower left hand side of the screen is that is that clock unpausing occurs the same way D did that actually work i'm not sure 
Pausing is the most u is most useful during combat, where it gives you the time to carefully orchestrate your party's next attack. While paused, issue your commands. Cool. Ooh, Thacko. Chance to hit armor class zero. Based on D20 rolls, lower is better. Thacko, chance to hit armor class zero. Better Thacko means they have better chance to hit armor class zero. Interesting. Honestly, don't sweat it. Second edition was a mess. Best handled by the computer. Cool. Cool, Ebenezer. Thank you, man. Pausing was most during... Yeah, yeah. While pause, issue my commands. When you unpause, your characters will carry out the orders you have given. If you do not use the space bar, you may find the game very difficult to play. We'll be using the, the space bar. Quite a lot, I imagine. Like, every other step. We'll be like, pause. And pause. And what you have, pause. Something like that. Why don't you experiment with pausing right now? By using the space bar and giving your character some movement commands. When we've finished, left click on me to resume our conversation. I will. We're going to be going... What? Over Such here. Menial tasks. Ah, that's a pause. Nice. Day zero, hour seven. You still have some second edition board games, TP. <gasps> Bring them over. No one to play. When you're next in Kent. Well, I think we've done that. My next topic is on how to differentiate enemies from people you want to talk to. Enemies have red circles. People you want to talk to have blue circles. Red, blue. Excellent. Oh, this is just the tutorial, Kaido. Um, we just yeah, chose one of the the, the pre-made characters. Uh, genuinely, I can't remember what the character was. What class? We're not going to be starting the game with this uh, this character, though. It was just to, to do the tutorial. Um, can we can we see? Certain option settings, certain option settings can remove these circles during unpaused gameplay so that their presence does not distract from the mood of the game. These circles are always present when the game is paused, however. Okay, okay. Interacting with uh, NPCs, it defaults to talk for neutral targets and attack for hostile ones. Talk to neutral t characters, identified by blue circles, by left-clicking on them. Yeah, we just did that. To attack... Hostile NPCs, simply left click on them. If you want to attack a neutral NPC, select a weapon icon from the bottom of your screen and left click on the target. I assume we'll have stuff down here at some point then? Or is there weapons over here? I don't know. Let's test this out now. Left click on my servant and you will start a conversation. Servant Joss Bill! Come here at once. What up, Joss Bill? Ah, okay, so there we are. Fist. I'm gonna give him a good fist in. Family friendly. Fist, fist four. Guard, stealth. I mean, I'm sure it was probably gonna go through all this, but I wanna have a look anyway. World map, journal, inventory. Record. Mage book. Family friendly. Priest scroll. Options. Oh, okay. And the arrow buttons move the camera around. Nice. Actually, yeah. Can we yes. check? Uh, ranger. She's a, she's a ranger. Fanny Reese. I chose it because it sounded very similar to uh, Faye's name. Uh, yeah. She's a ranger. We are going to have a ranger in our party. Oh, I'm so excited to create an entire... Oh, an entire party. <laughs> cool. Um, what, what are we doing? Sorry. Uh, we're, Fine. Cha we're chatting to Joss Bill. Hey there. Hey there. That easy? What I'm going to do now is turn hostile. <gasps> My circle will turn red, and then you can left-click on me to attack. All right, then. Let's go. Hit me, if you can. Well, you've got a sword, dude. I don't. Smack. Bosh. Smack. And bosh. Uh, are, are we... Tr Your life should be mine. Well, 
done. That was a good hit. Oh, Velt will talk with you now. Finally. Oh my word! Is that how long it's gonna take to hit somebody? <laughs> Oh no! What have I done? What have I done, everybody? I mean, it might be that we just have to re-roll the characters. If if what you're trying to tell me, uh, DP, is correct, and we need like higher level characters to start a Legacy of Baal um, run, then we'll we'll run it on core rules. If that if that's if that's the case. We'll see. Oh my god. I now want to talk to you about the inventory page. Please do. You can look at the inventory page by right clicking on your character portrait or by pressing the backpack icon on the left side of the screen. Take a quick look at your inventory page. Okay. I will. So that's what? that or over here? Over here. There. Oh, that's exactly what we just did. Right click. What is it? Right click. Yeah, yeah. Such menial Equip tasks. items by placing them in the appropriate slots around your character on the inventory page. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Once equipped, select the weapon by left-clicking on the quick weapon slot at the bottom of the main gameplay screen. The green box will appear around the weapon that is in your character's hands. An orange box indicates combat mode. I'm going to give you a weapon now. I want you to try to equip it. Okay. Quick weapons. Right there. Nice. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Yes. Good job. It's time for us to go upstairs now. Uh, if you oh. move your cursor over to the Family stairs, friendly. you'll notice that your cursor becomes a stair cursor. Will I now? When your cursor changes, uh, if you left click on the stairs, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what to do with climbing upstairs. A simple matter. I was in next That's Saturday. The part of your lesson, man. The journal. I want you to check your journal. Hewlett era tank girl BXT. Is that what you're going to MCM as? Amazing, amazing. I like how this tutorial babies you and then it punches you in the face when we play the game. Don't tell me that, DP. I'm expecting to be eased in. <laughs> to assist in recording important information, many details will automatically be entered into your journal. Cool. Entries are catalogued and yeah, we'll figure that out. Main story entries will remain in your journal forever. They're a reminder of all the major events you're in your character's life so far. Quest entries are entered into the journal when a quest begins and removed when the quest ends. The entry then appears in the done quests section. If you check your journal right now, you will notice that an entry has been placed to remind you to finish combat training. When your training is done, this entry will disappear. A reminder from Belt. This is a reminder from Belt to finish your combat training. All right, fella. Damn, man. And journal. Enter a search term. Oh, we can add journals and everything. All right, then. Now your first combat lesson. <laughs> My combat teacher, Brevin, is going to be coming right up the stairs. I want you to hit him. <laughs> he doesn't know. Journal. <laughs> Brevin is coming up the stairs. He's just made a cup of tea. He doesn't know you're going to attack him. Go on, jump on him. I want you to hit him and then check your channel. What up, Brevin? Yeah, we seem to be getting hit. Oh, we hit him. We hit him. Good job. I want you to check your journal and see how it has been updated. Brevin hates me now, apparently. That's that's probably what's going to come up in the journal. Journal. Chapter one. Tutorial. Wait, what? Now I want you to check your map screen. To access it, left click on the map icon second from the top of the left hand and this will let you view the area you're currently in. Once in the map screen, you will notice the world map icon in the top left. Left clicking on this will take you to the world map which displays the game areas you currently know about. I'll give you a few seconds to try this out. Cool. Um, 
world map? Ah. That's cool. The Sword Coast. Another page you might be interested in is the character sheet. Oh, I will be. It can be accessed by... Yep, no, we've done that already. The record sheet has everything you need to know about your character. You will also find an export button and the information button on this page. So excited. The export button will export your character for use in a new game. This is not a save game, but rather a way of transferring a favorite character from game to game. Hopefully our characters don't die and we'll be able to do this. The information screen allows your character's history, uh, shows your character's history and combat stats. Cool. Paused. Ranger. Stats. Most powerful vanquished. Favorite spell, favorite weapon, fist. Biography, inspired by your foster father's tales of adventure amidst the barons. Hills and forests of Fair Run, you have learned the, uh, pr to appreciate the power of the challenges. Oh man, am I gonna have to make a biography for each one? I didn't think about that. Your first character is treated as the main character. If they die, it's game over anyway. <gasps> if if the other characters die, can we then hire new ones into the party, DP? HP 10. <laughs> cool. Oh, sunny wow. day. A simple matter. Oh, there are NPCs. Oh, so we wouldn't be able to create a new one. All right, never mind. The last icon that you need to know about is the options icon. You can also find it on the left side of the screen. On the options screen, you will be able to save and load games, as well as modify graphics, sound, and gameplay. Other, ga other characters can join you on your adventure. In fact, without companions, you will find Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition almost impossible to finish. We might already find it impossible to finish, because we're starting with level 1 characters, or even level 0 characters. I'm not sure how uh, the level system works in 2nd edition. And we're going to be jumping into a Legacy of Baal game. I will now introduce you to Zan. He's an elven mage. He would join your party and then show you how to memorize and cast spells. Good news. Zan, how's it going? My man. Slow down. Hello. I am Zan, a mage from Everaska in the north. I am going to join your party and show you how to cast and memorize spells. Hello. Oh, look! Is My first oh. lesson for you is on how to cast spells. Cool. Select Zan's cast spell button, choose a spell, and left click on your target. My cast spell button is the spell icon on the bottom of the screen. You need to have me selected for you to access my spells. You can also configure quick spells by right clicking on a quick spell slot. This summons a list of memorized spells to choose. If no spells are listed, the character either does not have any spells memorized or cannot cast until higher levels. Okay, yeah, I think I've got that down. To cast a quick spell, left click on the appropriate quick spell slot and select your target. I want you to try and cast a spell now. Select any spell in my repertoire and cast it on belt. Okay, so... Quick weapons. Right, I. Oh, I think I missed. I think I missed that. Our quest is vain. Ah, cast spell. He only has. Wait, what? Ooh, this is interesting. You haven't cast a spell on belt yet. I know. I know. <laughs> DP, probably. Is he called Zan because he's on Xanax? Oh, I hate being a mage. Uh, let's check the journals just quick. No, nothing there. Oh my word! 
popsicle. You just scared the bejesus out of me. I know. I'm getting scared by the cat. <laughs> Her tail went right up my shorts. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, what? So. That seems to be a spell. Is this a spell? Melf's Acid Arrow. Identify. Burning Hands. Burning Hands, classic spell. Dan, stop backseating or you're banned. <laughs> I'm now going to teach you how to memorize spells. Mm, thank you, Zan, for teaching me how to memorize. Hello, the poops. <laughs> oh, she loves Zan. She's well up for a bit of Zan action. Zaf, welcome in, man. Welcome in. We are just learning how to play Baldur's Gate. And Pops is showing everybody her tail. Hello. Um, okay, teach me how to memorize spells, please, Zan. Any spellcaster besides sorcerers and shamans must memorize spells using the rest button on the left panel after choosing their spells on the mage book or the priest scroll page. Select the mage book or the priest scroll icon that appears on the left edge of the screen. I assume that's going to be that one or that one. Choose the spells you want to memorize and then click on the rest button. Once you rest, once your rest is completed, you will have memorized all of your spells. I want you to try and memorize some spells right now. Done. So what's this? Priest scroll, mage book, record. Oh look, next level. <laughs> Wait, he's level six. Oh, okay, okay. Man, this game's is really so hollow. Life is so hollow. This game really speaks to my my inner board game geek. There we go. Priest scroll. Any spellcaster besides sorcerers and streamers must memorize. Okay, but no, we are on this mage spell book. Burning hands, charm person. Color spray, identify, protection from evil, memorize three of five. So let's color spray? Upon casting, your wizard causes a vivid fan shaped spray. <laughs> oh, Alan, R Alan Rickman. Life is hollow, Potter. Poor Alan Rickman. What a good lad. Oh, sunny day. Memorize. And why not memorize charm person as well? Identify? We don't need to. Memorize five of five. Oh, wait. Were we going to... So that's identify. That's burning hands. This is our mage book. I guess that's level one. Memorize. Memorized five of five. Is that all I need to do? Can I now click off? Oh no, and then we rest, don't we? We rest. We're all doomed. Haven't slept yet. You can access your rest button from either your memorization screen or your inventory screen. You can access the rest button from either the memorization screen or your inventory screen. Can you? Where? Where is rest? Inventory screen. If I was a rest button, where would I be? Yes. Our quest is vain. What's that? Party AI on. Reveal details. Select all. Stand here. Special abilities. You haven't slept yet. You can access, access your rest button from either your memorization screen or your inventory screen. Or the main screen. 
Okay, you're giving me a little bit... You're confusing me slightly. So this is the memorization page, right? Yes. What We're all is it? Life is so hollow. Life is so hollow. Uh, you're telling me that I can rest from this page. There is nothing on this page that says rest, my man. Okay. It is hardly worth the effort of trying. It's the shut eye. Sorry, yeah, I was looking at this. My bad, my bad. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, look! Cheers! Sorry, I got a bit of tunnel vision then. And it's there anyway. It's literally just there. You have rested for eight hours. Lovely. Lovely. Now what? Good job. I'm now going to teach you how to learn spells. Yes. There's flame arrow scroll in my inventory. Cool. Right click on the scroll and it will bring up the item history screen. On the bottom of the screen you will find a button that says write magic. Press this and your mage, me, will now be able to cast the flame arrow once I memorize it that is. Okay. I'm stroking a cat. FYI, guys, just if you wonder why I'm constantly moving my hand below the screen. There is a chance of failure when trying to learn a new spell. Failure means that that scroll is used up and the mage does not learn the spell. I will not fail with this one. But in the real world, your intelligence stat will determine whether you succeed or not. We might be using a sorcerer. Because sorcerers just gain level, uh, gain spells with level, and that seems if, we, if we're on legacy of Baal as well. Excellent. Okay. Right, magic, flame arrow, range sixty, duration one round, casting time three. Goodbye, the poops. She doesn't like the idea of flame arrows. She's a pacifist. She's just gone back to licking her bum hole. Well done. Well done. You you do you, poops. You copied the spell into your spell book. Awesome. Let us save our effort and just good job. Now I'm going to teach you how to identify items. When you find a magical item, you won't automatically know what it does. Um, to find out, you must first right-click on said item. Like all pacifists do, yep, every pacifist ever would much rather be licking their bumhole. No, that sounds like I'm taking the mick out of pacifists. No, you have the right to choose. On the bottom of the item's history screen, you will find a button labelled Identify. Label... Oh, sorry, left-click on this. If whoever has the item in their inventory has the identify spell memorized or has an identify scroll, then the item will be identified. Bards and very intelligent characters can sometimes automatically identify an item when they pick it up. We're going to be having a bard in our party, by the way, because I love bards. I have an unidentified... Sh Wait, I have an unidentified shield in my inventory. I also have the identify spell memorized. I will give you a moment to try and identify the shield. Cool. There is the shield. Look! It's a medium shield! What does it do? Let's identify it. Um, with the spell. Might have to turn that down. Um, we've identified it. What? I, it didn't change anything, did it? Mm, nope. 
Cool. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. Doomed. Now that you know everything right. about using mage spells, I'm going to introduce you to a cleric. Yes, her cleric. Name is Bronwyn, and she'll be teaching you how to Bronwyn. use cleric abilities. I love that name, Bronwyn. Oh, identifying it changed the armor class from a one plus to a two plus. Hell yeah, DP. Also, cat hair everywhere is going to make me sneeze. Ah, ruin me. Now that you know everything about mage spells, I'm going to introduce you to a cleric. Her name is Branwen. She'll be teaching you how to use cleric abilities. Cool. Come here, Branwen. Greetings and good of will. I am Branwen, and I follow the ways of Tempest, God of War. Lovely. I'm going to join your party and teach you how you to use your party. cleric abilities. Sorry, was that racist? You cast that was probably a bit racist. In the Sorry. Exact same way that you cast mage spells. I'll refresh your memory in case you've forgotten. Cool. Select my cast spell button. Choose a spell and left click on your target. My cast spell button is the spell icon on the bottom of the screen. You need to have me selected for you to have access to my spells. If you want to cast a spell. I want you to cast a spell on Belt now. He is slightly wounded from the other spell you cast on him, so you should use one of my healing spells. Go ahead, cast a healing spell on Belt. Or anyone else, for that matter. You can rest to restore a healing spell if necessary. Sweet. So, let's select her. Hello. 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 And, right, so sh this is her normal stuff. This is her spells. Quick weapons, quick items. How can we actually see? Oh no, that's that's appearance. Where can we actually see the spells? Belt's gonna get belted. Oh, actually, while we're here. Um, ambient volume sound effects was that maybe the voice needs to go up a bit music sounds about right character subtitles, battle cries character movement sounds, yeah that sounds that sounds probably better cool you haven't cast a spell yet I know, I was trying to change the music sounds so, we have Cure Light Wounds, Bark Skin, Chant, Draw Upon Un... Wait, Holy Might, not Unholy Might. Let's just heal him, shall we? You haven't cast a spell yet. Shush, shush. I will. Rigor Mortis, something or other. Good. Now I'll give you a short overview on how to memorize cleric spells. Any spellcaster besides sorcerer and shamans must memorize spells using the rest button. Yada yada yada. We know this. Select the mage book or the priest scroll on the left side of the screen. Choose the spells you want to memorize and then left click on the rest button. Once the rest is completed, you will have memorized the spells. I want you to try and memorize some spells right now. Cool. Um. Oh, it's ah because she's a cleric. It's in the priest section um, armor of faith yeah bless uh, ooh, magical stone level one sphere combat range 50 duration instant cast time four area effect one creature by using a spell a priest can create a small magical pebble which flies out and hits a target <laughs> donk for 1d4 points <laughs> nice Clocking them in the face with a stone. How about ya? Uh, remove fear, yeah, whatever. Cool, and then we press the rest button. Like so. Oh, 
I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm pretty sure um, that once Wolfenstein's done with, when it comes to bonus streams, this might win over most times. I'm just in the tutorial, I'm having, <laughs> having way too much fun. Too much, too much, man. If Tempus wills it. Wait, did, did you move just slightly while we were paused? I don't know. You haven't slept yet. You can access your sleeper button from either your memorization screen or your inventory screen. I, 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 I have, what? I have rested. I definitely have rested. Did I not memorize the right spells? I mean, I'm pretty sure. You haven't slept yet. You can access your sleeper button from either your memorization screen. You may not or rest at this time. Screen. Um, I think we soft locked the game, everybody. You haven't slept yet. You can access your sleeper button from either your memorization screen or your inventory screen. I know it did. Hold person. Draw upon holy might. Um. Did we just not do the right spells? Did. Um. Oh, let's memorize tons of that one. Shit, shit, Doom. Cool. Good job. Now, on to another ability. A very important skill to the cleric class is the turning of undead creatures. Ooh! Very important skill of the cleric class is the turning of the undead... Of, of undead creatures. Sorry, there's uh, hair everywhere. <laughs> Poops just arrived, shed, and then left. Shed, as in, you know, the thing you have in the garden. She loves building sheds. Paladins also have the ability to turn undead. Activating the icon will cause many undead creatures to flee or even be destroyed. When in this mode, the character can move wherever they wish. Wish Any other action, such as attacking or casting a spell, will deactivate this ability. I'm going to teleport in. Oh, I'm going to teleport in a skeleton. Fair enough. I thought... She said that she was going to turn into a skeleton. Try to destroy it using my turn undead ability. Okay, first we are going to have to turn down sound effects. Okay. Um, draw upon holy might. Detect evil. Bark skin. Chant. Animate dead. Old person. Command. Shower. Magical stone. Um. I've missed it. Paladins of uh, good job. Now onto another ability. A very important kind of process to turn undead creatures. Paladins of activating this icon will cause many undead creatures to flee or even be destroyed. Mikey H nine thousand. It's the skull icon, not under spells. Dude. Thank you very much. Welcome in. You can stay. You can definitely stay. <laughs> Have it, skelly bones. Mm. 
Good job on destroying the skeleton. Good now job. I'm going to introduce you to a surprise visitor. It's your childhood friend, Imoen. Oh, it's Imoen! Good old Imoen. She and I will be waiting on the next floor, so hurry up on there. All up ons. I said that weird. Cheers, man. Cheers. Happy Saturday. Welcome in. <laughs> Scorpina. <laughs> Wait, are we all going up together? Or is it just... No, 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 no. Just what? me. All right. simple matter. Ease up. Ease up. Stealth. Guard. Fist. Do I have to select the whole yes, party? a simple matter. Excuse me, fella. If you could join us on the stairs, that would be great. Would, do you mind going up the stairs? There we go. That took a while. Such menial tasks. Hey, how are things going? Hey, hey to you too, Imoine. You must be itching to get started on your adventure. I really am. I really am, Imoine. But at the same time, I'm a little bit worried. Anyway, I'm supposed to teach you how to use the thief skills, but I, only after I join your party. Well, you're in the party so, now. Anyway, I'll start with the pickpocket ability. Sounds good to me. To use this ability, you, you must press the thieving button on the bottom of the screen. This button obviously won't be there if the thief is not selected. And the thieving icon is an eye mask, which thieves are occasionally known to wear. Once you've started the thieving... Once you've selected it, sorry. Give us a try. Attempt to pickpocket a gem from Belt's pocket. <laughs> Dude. Alright. Eye mask. Oh, trap detected. Nice. Well done. Well done. Oh, that one. Thieving. Stopped detecting traps and illusions. Thieving. Pickpocket. This way. You haven't got the gym yet. What's taking you so long? I was literally to just this ability, walking you over to him. Thieving button on the bottom of the screen. Are you a fan of Imoine, DP? <laughs> it, the worst bit was you only noticed because it came on spell check. What else have you written that wasn't caught on spell check? <laughs> Everybody, go go and uh, build snowmen now. Sneaky, sneaky soy sauce. Detecting traps. Very good. Now I'm going to teach you how to detect and disarm traps. Cool. Sounds good. To detect a trap, you must first press the find traps button on the bottom of your screen. While it's active, any traps in the area will be detected and highlighted in red. To find traps, sway. The find traps button is represented by the icon of four triangles. When in this mode, your character can move wherever they wish in any... Any other action, such as attacking or casting spell, would de deactivate. To disarm a trap, you must press the thieving button. You must left click on the red highlighted trap. Watch out, if you fail in disarming the trap, the trap may be sprung. Get sprung. There is a harmless trap on the west side of this room. I want you to detect and It's a pretty bad place trap, especially... I mean, it's a good job it's harmless, because if you got out of bed in a hurry, you'd probably set off the trap. I want you to detect and disarm it using my skills, remember? Sounds good. Okay, so that, the four triangles, is the detect. Wait, why haven't I detected it? Detect. There we are. And then we use the thievery. Good job. You should also know that when you're in detect traps mode, you'll also be able to detect secret doors and illusions. And illusions? Speaking of spell check, Imoen looks like somebody tried to type Imogen. Just failed out, yeah. Zaf. Cool. See you in uh, a few months. 
The next ability you need to learn is the ability to open locks. To pick a lock, you must select the thieving button and then left click on whatever locker container you want to open. Once again, the thieving button is represented by an eye mask icon. There is a locked chest on the west side of the floor. Use my abilities to pick the lock of the chest and steal the gem inside. <gasps> yes, we will. We will. Uh, where where was it? Did we do it? What's taking you so long? I thought we did it. To pick a lock, you must select the thieving button and then left click on whatever. Yeah. Once again, the thieving button is represent. Yeah. Oh oh, so we opened it and then we needed to click it again to pluck out the stuff. Um, I'll have that. Cheers. Sorted. Good job. The next ability I'm going to teach you is one of the most important a thief can do. The okay. ability to be stealthy. Sneaky, sneaky soy sauce. You will notice at the bottom of the screen is a stealth button. Simply left click the button and a wolf giant will appear. My man, thank you very much for the follow. And thank you very, very much for being our 300th uh, follower. So, cheers, dude. Welcome in. Okay, your character will attempt to hide in shadows. Simply left click the button and get back to where I was talking. Uh, and your character will attempt to hide in shadows. The stealth button is represented by the face half in shadow. Ah, that's what that is. 300 followers. We are 300 now. Let's go find some Persians. <laughs> you with me? Thank you, Wolf Giant. Welcome in. Show Wolf Giant some love, everybody. He deserves it for being the 300th person person to think that I'm even remotely uh, good enough to follow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> BXD, thank you for the 100 bits in celebration of the 300. We few. Uh, so yes, when we're in the stealth mode, sorry, I got distracted by the, the fun times. But thank you. Oh my word! It's it's all it's all happening. <laughs> thank you very much, Faye, as well. I didn't even realise you were watching, Faye. Thank you for the three hundred bit donation in honour. You guys rock. You guys all rock. Thank you. Thank you. The devil chicken. <laughs> Right, so, let's get back to stealth, shall we? Uh, I want you to try and put me in stealth mode now, which I guess is that one. <gasps> We're hiding. You just tuned in, Faye. But you are more than welcome to be here. Krills, this is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Alright. Now that we've finished experimenting with stealth, let's go to the last thief ability. The set trap skill. Awesome. Set traps. To set a trap, you must first access your special abilities. This is done by left-clicking the special abilities button on the bottom of your screen. This button has a four-cornered star icon. Right. I'm probably going to have to remember this because uh, we're going to probably put a ranger in our party. So I imagine this will be part of it. Try setting a few traps. Belt will start you on your next part of your lesson in a few moments. So, four cornered star, that one. I guess this is the trap. Set snare. Let's put it there. Oh, look! <gasps> awesome. Can we do another one? Yes, we can. You've been doing very well. Thank you. Now I'm going to introduce you to two more party members Minsk and Jahira two more, which would bring us up to six. So I guess we're getting close to the end of the tutorial. Minsk! Wait, wasn't that where Phoebe's boyfriend went? Friends references, everybody. <laughs> Kaido, the resident uh, Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Uh, they'll be teaching you a few more things, and then it'll be time for your last test. Sweet. Come at me, new friends. Oh dear. No, it's fine. I thought there was a cat. 
There isn't a cat. I just realised that I'm sitting up very straight and the camera is a little bit off. There we go. That's what <laughs> it happens when I'm excited. Jahira, hello there. I hope you've understood your lesson so far. They'll be of utmost importance when we get into the real world. Minsk and I are going to join your party and tell you about the remaining Minsk skills. and the bull. You forgot the bull. <laughs> I don't know who Boo is, but I love him already. Um, yes. I forgot Boo. Okay, then. Minsk, Boo, and I are going to join your party to, <laughs> to tell you about the remaining skills. Boo, a bull, has many pointers on how to adventure. He is a very wise hamster. <laughs> yes! Ebenezer, how old do you think I am? Actually, genuinely, how old do you think I am? This will be fun. 80. That's my age. I want a hamster. Do we have a hamster in the party? You will notice there are special abilities buttons on the bottom of your bottom right of your screen. Underneath me here. If you press this, the char the selected character's special skills will come up. Don't start age conversations. It's it upsets you. We're the same age. For now, Scorpina. <laughs> yeah, I sleep. I embalm myself every night before I go to sleep. Uh, the bard also has an extra ability, but wait, hold on. I forgot what that looked. The bard. Uh, different classes have different skills. Druids have the ability to shape change. Rangers have the ability to charm animals, and paladins have the ability to lay on hands and cure disease. Paladins, we are going to be. We're actually going to have be having a, uh, a a black paladin in our group. I think. <laughs> Wine. Wine will solve all. Family friendly. Honestly, you would have said early 30s. <laughs> but you're bad at this. Well, you would be incredibly correct, Ebenezer. I am exactly 30. Cheers, man. <laughs> at least I'm as old as I look. If I had a shave, maybe I'd look like younger. But like I said earlier, I've lost my shaving stuff. So that's why I'm a bit rugged. Bard also has an extra ability, but you do not have to press the special ability button to use it. This I need to pay attention to because we're going to be having a bard in the party. When you have a bard character selected, the harp icon will appear in the middle bottom of your screen. Pressing that button activates the bard song. Bards can inspire their comrades in combat by using the bard song. They are able to move when singing, but any other action will end the song. Can you see? He's the man. Let me hear you applaud. That's what I expect. He's going to be uh, singing. Uh, why don't you take a few moments to experiment with our abilities? I will. I will. What, what are you? Jahira. Party AI on. Select all. Wait, what? Where's your spit? Hold the phone. You will notice there is a special abilities button on the bottom right hand of the of the screen. Is there? Party AI. Reveal details. Select all. Um what? Oh, special abilities is that is the four cornered star. I see. Centurion, you just turned 31. You can't grip over your hair to save your life. Oh, man. It's it's a curse. It's genuinely a curse. <laughs> I have too much gravitas for a 20-something. Okay, I need to lower the gravitas. And then... Ah, one bit sent over for the uh, the happy birthday to Scorpina, the soon to be though. Anyway, it's the bare necessities. So anyway, this like this tutorial needs to sort out whether it's talking about the the middle bit or the actual outside. Okay, 
oh sunny day. You've done a fine job so far. No, I haven't. Still more to come. You'll notice that when you have a group of characters selected, there is a list of party formation buttons on the bottom of the screen. When I have a group of characters selected, there is a list of party formations on the bottom of the screen. Just select one of the formations whenever you walk to a part. Your party will. Uh, whenever you walk your party around as a group, they will walk in formation. Excellent. You can access more formations by right clicking on the formation buttons. I'm going to give you a, ti a little time to experiment with the formation types. Then we'll go on to your final test. You're not giving me a lot of time, guys. To be fair, I'm not. What is it? Ah, look, tea. Tea. Fine. It's the tea. Can we spin this around? Ah, oh, yes, we can. Ha! <laughs> Family friendly. So, Jiren, you thought there is as you were up on Monkey Island. All right then. And and to be fair. Time for the test. Wait, what? There's a test coming. I, <laughs> I forgot to pay attention. Ah. Uh... All right. What's our test? I'm going to allow you entry to the basement now. This is where your final test is to take place. Do you, do you have a family tied up down there? It's family friendly. Oops. I mean, on a non-HD screen, it makes more sense, DP. Ah, I get it. I get it. Are we on the... the <laughs> are we getting into the semantics of beards? I'm a big fan of, of beard talk. Located in the basement is a valuable star sapphire. You are to retrieve this item from the treasury. The treasury is locked and warded against thieving skills, so you'll first have to find a key. To succeed, you're going to have to use all of your skills. When you go down the stairs, the game will autosave. This happens whenever you move from one major area to the next. You can therefore restart your game from the point where you made your last major area transition. All right then. The door to the basement is open. Remember, if you die while you're in the basement, you can reload using your autosave slot. We have the journal updated. Awesome. Retrieve the star sapphire for belt. Is this... No, oh, no, that's going up. Um, oh, actually, before we go in, we are... So what is... Imoen? No, that's Imoen. Jahira is a fighter slash a druid. And Minsk and his hamster. I thought you said My temper th shield is so hollow. Hollow. Charm Animal is the ranger's special ability. Nice. Our quest is vain. Well, you've got loads of spells, so that's fair. And who are you, mage slash thief? You have set snare. Okay, right, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you, sir, with the hamster, right there. Good old Boo. Can we can we bring up Boo? What can we do with Boo? Kicking for goodness. <laughs> I love this guy. Berserk and charm animal. Berserk. Okay. Centurion, who remembers Mafia? Great game. I remember it. Never played it, though. You love Mafia. Best one on the set, in your opinion. Fair enough. In your humble opinion, of course. Same under the sea. I just shaved first time in three and a half weeks. Bit like a pubescent teen. I'm sure you look beautiful, Centurion. I'm sure you do. Boo is in the inventory. Is he just like... Can I, can I throw Boo at people? I'm hoping so. Anyway, let's grab all yes. the party. And go down to the basement. How? I have no idea. A 
first simple matter. Oh, look. A baby grand piano. Plundered. Purloined. Ha ha, loins. Um, excuse me, sir. How do we get downstairs? <laughs> Into the basement? Wait, is that... Is that it? You must gather your party before venturing forth. There could be traps down here. You should use my skills to find out if there are any. Remember that it takes a moment for the traps to become visible to me. Who is that? Dude has a, a, a fair set on him, just running straight at these things. Okay, let's have a look at this. What's going on? Fine. We're all doomed. Zan. The Zimage. What are these things? Oh, kobolds. Nice. Uninjured kobolds. Life is so hollow. Considering uh, that you are literally right in front of them there, you're probably... Like, can we... What is the point? We can't right-click to show, uh, like, enemy levels or anything, so I just have to guess. <laughs> I I'm not sure. I'm not sure when you strayed from the light. Our quest is vain. Um, okay. Charm person. Color spray. Can we just, like, paint them pink and then... They'll be like, oh, look. I'm off to join the circus. Melf's acid arrow. Protection from evil. Let's use Melf's acid arrow on that fella right there. What is it? All right, easy. To be fair, you are really low level compared to everyone, aren't you? How can we tell level? Is that level? No, that's armor class. Um... Yes. I've forgotten how to tell level. It's the inventory. Oh, record, record. Level one. Yeah, okay. We're what all doomed. So we have a level six, a level one, a level twelve, a level eight, a level five, and a level six. Cool. Right, 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 right. We're all doomed. What? You're going to attack the same one. In fact, we're all probably going to attack the same one. What is your command? We have... Fighty. Turn undead. These guys definitely aren't undead. Cast spell. What sort of casting... I don't know what that does. The spell enables the caster to create a magical cudgel that has a 1 plus bonus to attack roll and inflicts 2d4 points of damage on opponents. Nice. Doom. This spell causes a feeling of doom to overwhelm the target. For the duration of the spell, the target receives minus 2 penalties at all rolls. Right, we're going to be using doom on that kobold. Yes? You're... Fine. No. There we go. Hello. Life is so hollow. Imoine! What are you going to do? You are going to detect traps just in case... No, no, we're in a fight. We're in a fight. You are going to just stab that one. Please. And after that, we have Jahira, who is a fighter slash druid, who has... Bless, cure light wounds, and entangle. Right, entangle that one. Um, and Minsk. You're going to attack that one as well. Let's go. Oh my word! Uh, Jan, I think you're a little bit hurt there. This is fun. Although, Jean... Our quest is vain. What is the point? My temper shield! Branwen, did I not give you something to do? I definitely gave you something to do. 
I told you to use Doom. I think. Yeah. Oh, it's I, that Doom. I am wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's menial tasks. That's what you get for uh, being a level one. <laughs> oh my word! Legacy of Baal, everybody. Okay. Thy Valkor's mighty blade. So, who actually has the healing spells here? We're all doomed. Not you. Ah, you do, you do. Okay. Bless. Cure light wounds. Definitely cure light wounds. Yeah, DP. And these are just kobolds. Barely injured. Compared to... Very injured. Hello. My word. Uh, yes, fine. I'm wounded. You should use Bronwyn's cure wounds to spells to heal me. Yeah, 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 probably. By temper shield. Hello. Uh, By temper shield. Uh, cure wounds. Where is cure wounds? Boxing. Chance. Draw upon unholy might. Hold person. Don't don't seem to have. Did we not? <laughs> I don't think we got cure wounds. Whoops. All right, let's bark skin someone, shall we? Let's bark skin you. You get bark skin. <laughs> what is it? And I suppose yeah, we don't have any healing potions or anything to use. Uh, there goes one. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna kind of let them go at their own thing. What, is your command? what was that, Hello? Branwen? Turn undead. No, it's not gonna not gonna work. Um, oh, that was bark skin, wasn't it? Command, magical stone. Let's let's create a magical cudgel and smack this dude in the face with it. Minsk, guard, throw hamster. No, all right. Berserk, would you please kindly go berserk? What? Um and by temper shield. What is your command? Oh, I like that the 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 character sheets kind of roll up with red as they get closer to death. <laughs> Who had this one? Okay. Cure light wounds, please, on her. Temper, give us victory. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Maybe Legacy of Baal <laughs> isn't, might not be for us. <laughs> One shot. We just healed her as well. Okay. So. This time. Right. No, don't guys, why are you trying to attack them straight away? Let's let's a set matter. up a defense in this room. There could be traps down here. There, there could you be. You should use my skills to find out if there are any. Remember that it takes a moment for the traps to become visible to me. Okay. So who is our highest level um Ah, his record. Cool. Uh, 12. Branwen, 6, 8, 5. So, Branwen, you're going to be at the front. Where are you at now? You're currently at the back. Of course you're at the back. 
<laughs> of course you are. You might try a Legacy of Baal with a max level fighter. Do it, DP. Do it and report back to me. Imoine, what are you going to do? You're not going to go stealth. You're not going to detect illusion because we need to fight, really. Um, we are going... I've done had enough of this. You done had enough of that, have you? All right. Um. <laughs> Jahira. Right. Butt kicking for goodness! You are gonna go berserk, my man. Uh, yes. Fine. You're gonna get out of the way because apparently you're not high enough level to even scratch a kobold. Um. Imoine. Set snare? Can you like... Oh, it takes a while to set it, doesn't it? So that wouldn't work. Tempest, give us victory! I inspire you by charging blindly on! I know that voice actor! What is your command? Minsk, have you gone... Uh, have you gone... Berserk yet? I think you have. Okay, so you can now take that dude. Entangle. We're going to entangle that guy. Actually, what does entangle do? We should probably check. By means of his spell, the caster is able to cause plants in the area of effect to entangle creatures within the area. The grasses, weeds, bushes, and even trees wrap, twist, and entwine about the creature, holding them fast. Once per round, the creature can attempt to save. This is a spell with a plus three bonus to avoid entanglement. An entangled creature can still attack, but receive minus two penalty to his armal, armor class. Tangled, you say? We're all doomed. Right. You, my friend. Charm person. Color spray. Melf's acid arrow. That one. You are kidding me? That is our highest level. I don't even know what level these things are. Is there a way to tell what uh, what level they are? No. Oh wait, she isn't, is she? No, no, she's our level eight. Okay, she's just managed to get herself right in the middle of the fray somehow. Life is so. Our quest is vain. Right, everybody We're just all doomed. attack that dude. This way. You're going over here. Wait, why are you attacking that one? What is it? Oh. Alright, how are we doing? How are we doing? I'm kind of wounded. You should use Bronwyn's Cure Wound spells to heal me. Yes, we would. However, um, we haven't prepared that spell. Uh, so you're going to have to well. use your own. Uh, uh, I think you have one, don't you? No, somebody has one. Who has the... Oh, was it you? Bless. Cure Light Wounds. There you go. Is it a ranged spell? For the group. For the group. Oh wait, is these these snares are attacking us as well? That was a terrible idea to use snare, apparently. Oh mm, delicious pizza. Wait. <laughs> Okay, we all seem to be... Is there a way to stop that spell from occurring? 
It's a kid in. Nope, that's not what I need. Who actually was it? Was it the odd? Was it you? I think. Yeah, you used it. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. All my bad. Because we're all we all seem to be getting attacked. What? Whoa! Hello. <laughs> I am seriously wounded. You should use my own cure wound spell to heal me. You don't have it unless it's on here. Nope, you have spiritual hammer. Uh Yeah, apparently we need to after this bit, we need to go back and, and reset our spells. Oh dear. Tis a fine day. Oh, she's dead. Oh, he's dead. A kobold literally just blew him up. Yes, such menial tasks. <laughs> Wait, what? Stop attacking me! Butt kicking for goodness! Oh, it's because he went berserk. What is it a simple matter? Gather your party before venturing forth. Um, yeah, we we've, we've literally lost one party member. How do we reload? <laughs> No, we auto saved at that point. Guys, I'm not sure if Legacy of Baal is going to be a thing. Because DP, I'm starting to understand that, yeah, we're supposed to import higher level characters into this, aren't we? Because even these high level characters, higher level characters, like level 6s, level 12s, I'm just getting jibbed in the middle of it. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. 